Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this intro splash text animation effect. So first, I'm going to grab my text tool, make sure I'm in the program window. So I'll click and write out Fight Night for my example, and you'll see it'll create a new graphic layer. And if we head over on the right hand side to the Essential Graphics panel, here's where we can change everything about the text from the color, size, font, and more. So in this case, the color doesn't really matter but I can center the text, put it where I want, and also adjust the scale, size, font, and all that. So this is the font that I'm going to use and choose, and this is good for me. Now, if I wanna put the video inside of the text, what we want to do is add an effect called track matte key. So I'm gonna search for track matte key in the keying video effects folder, and I'm gonna click and add that onto this video clip. And it's going to ask me what layer do you want to use as the mat and I can choose any of my video tracks. So I'm actually going to make room for one more track. So I have an empty track one, I have the video clip on track two, and I have the text graphic on track three. If I choose video three now that the text is on there, you'll see that it'll fill in the video into the text and make the background transparent. It's just showing black, but it's actually transparent. If you ever click the settings in the program window, and check transparency grid. You will be able to see that if you want to tell the difference. But it is transparent and we know that because now we're going to add our own custom color in the background. If we go to File, New, Color Mat, I can click OK and create whatever color background mat I want. So I'll choose this bright yellow color. I think it looks nice with the blue footage. And I'll use that as the background color. Now you can always extend these clips out to be whatever duration you want, these graphics and mats. But up until this point, we've, we've just created a cool video inside of the text effect, which is cool on its own. But I'm also going to add a little bit of an intro splash animation to this text using hold keyframes. So if I highlight the text layer and go to the effects control panel and add keyframes onto the position and scale and just highlight them and change them to hold mode, what this is going to do is allow me to, to make jumpy type of cuts. So let me increase the scale a lot maybe and move over the position like this. We'll do fight and then we'll move over just a couple frames. I'll move the position over here to night. I'll lower the scale a little bit. And so what this is, has done is instead of the traditional linear keyframe where you'll see the whole motion, it's just going to jump from one to the other. It's kind of interesting because these have the same letters in them, so you don't see anything change but the first letter. But then I'm going to also just make some more uh, jittery movements every couple frames. So maybe go like this, maybe lower the scale, and just make the text kind of bounce around a bit in different ways. And then ultimately, after a few seconds of that, I want to bring everything back to normal, back to center. So I'm just going to reset them and I'm going to see what that looked like. So if I play it, we see fight night it kind of splashes around and then back to normal. It's a little too slow at this point. I want to squeeze all those keyframes in personally. And then as soon as we kind of get back to normal, I'm going to cut the text graphic. So we cut right to our video clip. So I might want to go in here, delete things that look kind of odd, maybe change around some keyframes, and just play around with the timing so that it looks good to you. But basically with these few tools of essential graphics text, color mats, track mat keys, and hold keyframes, you can create these cool splash animations of text kind of splashing across the screen. So hopefully you can use this in intros, text splashes of your own. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.